Imagine, for a second, that Polytopia had no clouds, and you could see exactly what your opponent was doing at any given point in time. The number of cities they've captured, the number of units they've trained, what technology they've researched. Well, this imaginative scenario can actually be a reality. In fact, all it requires is a bit of simple math. Let me explain. Pretty much everything you do in Polytopia is followed by gaining points whether it be leveling cities, training units, or revealing tiles. This feature is typically overlooked by Might players, where score really only indicates who has the best shot of winning the game, and even its use in this case is questionable. However, an opponent's score tells you exactly what they are doing on their turn. This process is known as score counting. Here are some common point values you should know. Revealing a tile grants 5 points, gaining 1 population grants 5 points, training a warrior grants 10 points, and a rider grants 15, and researching a tier 1, 2, or 3 tech grants 100, 200, and 300 points respectively. The thing is, you can deduce every move your opponent makes by simply watching their score increase. Here's an example. In this game, my opponent's score went from 515 to 565. Thanks to score counting, I know that they leveled up their capital and selected the workshop perk. You get 5 points for one population, and upgrading a city to level 2 grants 40 points. 5 times 2 plus 40 is 50. 515 plus 50 is 565. We've calculated what moves they took to get from their starting score to their ending score. My favorite score counting use case is determining which tribe my opponent is playing based on their starting score. Different tribes start with a varied number of points based on their starting tech and unit. For example, Barter starts with 515, Omaji starts with 520, Luxador starts with 465, etc. Here's a list of all the starting scores in Polytopia. This narrows down your options somewhat, but not entirely. For example, Zabasi, Yadak, and Imo each start with 615 points. How can you be 100% certain which tribe your opponent is playing? Well, just continue counting your opponent's score. On turn 0, Zabasi typically upgrades their capital, Yadak places a road in a corner to move their starting warrior a tile further and train a second one, and Imo trains a second warrior. If you simply determine what they did on their turn, you can likely determine which tribe they are playing as well. Early in the game, score counting is easy, however it becomes more difficult the longer the game goes. Things like explorers and ruins do not grant a single concrete number of points. Generally speaking, the more variables that become involved, the more difficult score counting becomes. There might be multiple paths that could get your opponent from their starting score to their ending score, or maybe there isn't a path you can deduce at all. I mainly use score counting in the first five turns of a game to figure out what tribe my opponent is and what sort of path they are taking. Now if you really want to be a tryhard, there's more useful information you can gain thanks to score counting. I mean, if you know exactly what your opponent is doing, there's no reason you can't figure out how many stars they have, right? Here's a screenshot of me figuring out how many stars my opponent has in this Polychamps game. Using score counting, my teammate and I figured out what actions they did, so we also knew how many stars they have and what their stars per turn is. Doing these sorts of calculations is important for determining if your opponent can buy roads for a siege on your city, or stop one of your sieges by giant pushing. Now here's a couple of smaller things you should know about score counting. It's really easy to tell what population an opponent's city is at. Just tap the city info button on a city and look at its score. A city with no population will have a score that's a multiple of 50, and every 5 points after that is one blue section of the population bar. This is useful for determining if your opponent could potentially get a giant and a city you plan to siege. Illyrion's score is currently bugged. For whatever reason, pushing your starting warrior with a Politar on turn 0 grants 10 extra points than it should. Killing enemy units results in your opponent's score dropping. And finally, if you really want to get serious about score counting, I've included a useful Google Doc in the description of this video that has starting tribe point values, as well as point values for every action in the game. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking to learn about more advanced and in-depth Polytopia mechanics, check out the Polychampions Discord server. It's a great place to learn from the best players Polytopia has to offer. I'll link it in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more epic Polytopia videos. If you're looking for another video to watch, check out this video where I describe everything you need to know about ruins in Polytopia. Ruins are a central part of every game, so it's important you learn all about their mechanics. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.